Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today I need to start this video with a bit of an apology because I'm interrupting my current flow of videos going live. If you haven't found my channel before then, I'm currently spending all of the year living back to back as a passenger on cruise ships. Now today I have boarded MSC Meraviglia, which is an MSC cruise ship over in New York. Now the reason why I have decided to put this video out now rather than wait a couple of months further down the line is because to be honest, I think people need to see this. Now, I unfortunately have checked into what is without a doubt the worst cruise ship cabin that I've ever stayed in and I don't want you to make the same mistake as me. Now, what I've booked is a studio interior cabin and believe it or not, and I can't believe I'm saying this, this cabin doesn't actually have a bed. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, honestly, guys, I never thought I'd see the day. So, anyway, look, let me take you out into the corridor and let me walk you around cabin 10004, which is all the way at the front of the ship. Let me know down in the comments if you would stay in this cabin or if you, like me, would explore other options and try and stay elsewhere. And look, if you do find this video useful and if you enjoy seeing a little bit of what my life on cruise ships looks like, then yeah, come and join me. So click the thumbs up down underneath and then while you're there, it would be amazing if you would consider subscribing to the channel, which you can do directly underneath as well. But anyway, enough from me because we have got quite the cabin to have a look around. So yeah, join me out there and let's get started. Okay, welcome to cabin 10004 on MSC Meraviglia. Now, to be clear, since I posted this on a few other platforms recently, people have reached out to ask exactly what I booked. Now, I did book a solo inside cabin, but on the website, it specified that that would be a single bed, not a sofa bed, which is my key point with this cabin. You can see here, this bed isn't fit for purpose for someone to be staying in for an entire week, let alone in my case, a 10 night cruise. Now, at the end of the bed, you've got a digital porthole, which during the day when you're sailing, that would have a screen there that would play the picture from outside. And then on the other side of the room, you'll see that this is an adjoining cabin. Now, this cabin actually has adjoining rooms on either side. The soundproofing was, to be honest, almost zero to the point where you could hear everything that was going on next door. Now moving to look at storage, unfortunately when the bed is made up, it's almost impossible to access anything in those wardrobes. Now if I go around the other side to show you on this side, then that's okay, great, we can reach the hanging space, we can reach the safe, but the drawers. You're going to have to come back to access the drawers when the bed is pushed back in. So that would be solved with a sliding wardrobe, so I'm not entirely sure why they've got the opening outward doors in this cabin. Now underneath the desk, you've got your minibar and then you've got one drawer, which apologies, that's got some of my wires in by this point, but you can use that just to store various things and your hairdryer is under there as well. Now you've then got your phone, you've got your TV and then you've got your ice bucket and a couple of glasses up there that you can ask to get filled up whenever you need. And then you've got your desk where your plug points. So on the left, you've got your two European plugs and your one USB. And over on the right, you've got two American plugs. Now, underneath the desk, you've then got a little stool, which to be honest, you can't use that if the bed is set up this way. So all round, a bit of a strange room. I just, I, I can't really believe this is set up as a cabin. Now you've then got a full length mirror on the far wall there. And let me take you in and show you the bathroom. Now this part of the cabin, I've got absolutely no gripes about. This is exactly the same as many other cabin grade bathrooms that I've seen on MSC ships. And actually, if the cabin was as good as the bathroom, I would have been perfectly content in my cabin. Now, what I would say is that this cabin fell short on so many of my expectations. Since doing a bit more research into exactly why I was allocated this cabin, it would appear as though this cabin is initially intended or primarily intended to be a room that adjoins on to one of the cabins on either side. So for example, if you're a family cruising and you book a cabin on one side of this room, you would then unlock this and it would serve as a sitting room or a temporary bedroom. Now, it really surprises me that MSC 
are now selling these cabins as solo insides because to be perfectly honest I don't really think they're fit for purpose because you're constantly getting this bed which isn't a great bed anyway changed from a sofa into a bed back to a sofa back into a bed if that was just a standard single bed it would be nowhere near as bad but anyway let me know what you think guys I would love to know would you stay in this room or would you rather go for a different cabin grade and thanks for watching